Hello everybody, it's Oshaziz here. Sorry about the dead burn mess, but uh, it's all in the name of science. <clears throat> anyway, this video is going to get a little bit uh, probably loud and obnoxious at points. I put my reading glasses on so I can see what the heck I'm doing over here. Anyway, uh, basically what you see going on here is I got two microwave oven transformers running in series. And uh, on the uh, power side, uh, the positive side, which is uh, basically connected into uh, one side of uh, some brushes inside this little rotary switch. Er, that one. Okay. This goes to one side of the rotary switch, and the negative uh, of the battery goes to the opposite side of the rotary switch. I'm going to try to bring it down inside here real quick. So you can see, Urgh. there we go, it's a couple brass contacts in there and some adjustment screws and it's really hard to get just adjusted right if you made this uh, properly with some really good brush. The whole uh, point is to make and break the contact. And up here I got uh, capacitor running through there on that one and a capacitor running on there. Uh, basically to store up a charge as it's pulsing but uh, anyway they're arcing from one side of the secondary to the actual body of the, uh, the uh, microwave oven transformer and so with that said let's get back over here all right so basically what's going on there's a lot of power in these batteries if you know how to use them and by using MOSFETs or even these doggone blinker switches right here, you can't get the, the speed you want out of these. And most of these work off of a thermal deal, so they have to get hot. They have to be some current pulling through there. And so I decided instead of trying to use MOSFETs and transistors to make and break that circuit, which with those doesn't really make and break the circuit like you need. You actually need to disconnect it. And that's what the brushes are for in there. It's using the uh, the teeth of the gear, each one of these teeth of the gear, to make and break that circuit. And so when that happens, when it makes a circuit, you get a strong pulse inside the primary on there, uh, which saturates the core. And when you release it, it uh, basically when the field collapses you get a high voltage pulse out of both of these uh, secondaries right here and so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on it's gonna get obnoxious because this motor is not gonna run constant you're gonna hear it going because it's uh, it's making and breaking the circuit and I got the motor actually run in through the whole system so it actually has to run the motor to make and break the circuit for the positive the positive actually going all the way through the motor and into the contacts and then pulsing the coil so every time the contacts inside there uh, connect it energizes that coil when they split apart then it allows the field to collapse and you see the back EMF result as the two sparks from here and here so I'll go ahead and turn this on if I ain't messed something up already then we start should start hearing an obnoxious noise. So let's see what happens here. There we go. And try to get this adjusted so you get a bigger spark. I hope you're seeing that on there. My doggone capacitor keeps sliding on the bottom. But you can see it's making a strong enough hole to, uh, let me bring, it's making a strong enough hole to pulse those secondaries and give you a high voltage arc across there. 
Now if you get this thing adjusted just right or make a better rotary spark gap to make and break the circuit on that battery, then you'll get a better result. I actually had it going steadier earlier. I put a couple screws on the inside so that I could uh, adjust both sides of the, the brushes, which are made out of brass, so that they just barely touch it. And with it barely making contact like that, that's why you get that doing what it's doing right there. So every time that uh, wheel rolls around off of one of the teeth, it hits an empty spot and breaks the circuit. Yeah, this is one of the problems of making stuff out of junk. But anyway. My tarnation. I didn't even charge that doggone capacitor. And run it again. Come on. Bring you down in there and see if you can see inside that thing when it's going. You see the brushes in there making them breaking the contact. capacitor again. There we go. So, essentially, if you can build one better than this one right here, this is junk, obviously. You see where the uh, contacts are inside there? If you can build a better brush system than that, the whole key is to make and break the circuit between that battery. You'll get a strong uh, field when that uh, battery is connected. And then as soon as that releases that battery, as soon as the battery is disconnected, the circuit's broke, then you'll get that back EMF that uh, will give that strong pulse out. And if you get it adjusted just right or have your... Uh, your rotor inside there be able to make and break the circuit at whatever timing you want you'll get a really good pulse out of, out of these uh, these cores right here and you can actually use the same uh, process for pulsing uh, other coils as well so I hope you enjoyed the video even though it's a doggone mess but uh, there you go there's two microwave oven transformers uh, charging a capacitor or two and uh, running off of a couple little 12 volt, uh, it's actually two 6 volts in series, but uh, those 12 volts. But uh, these are running series. The, the microwave oven transformers are running series. One side, uh, the positive, which is actually in between the motor right here. So this is actually running in series with that before the power goes up to the positive side. And that's why when it makes the contact, you'll hear the motor surge. And then when it breaks the contact, you'll hear the motor go down. And it's that making and breaking that's energizing both the primaries in the, in the uh, microwave oven transformers. And when that field collapses, then it energizes the secondaries and gives you the high voltage spark. And you saw how whenever I discharge that over there that uh, it's charging that capacitor. This little capacitor down here I don't think it's any good but still arcing through. Uh, these are really good capacitors for this kind of experiments if you ever happen to uh, get a hold of them. They actually came out of uh, like a microwave oven uh, fan motor or uh, some of the little newer style fans. Anyway, I hope you liked the video folks. Peace and love. Stay tuned.